Hello and welcome, this is Edrold and today I will be covering the changes from version 3.05D of Gregtech to version 3.06B. So let's get started. First of all, there's been a change in how covers work. Now, most covers you can no longer put in the front face of uh, machines like basic machines, redstone display or scales and button panels. However, you can still put them on the other sides like usual. Uh, one of the covers that still have that functionality is the computer monitor. You can just put it on the front of machines. Another block that has received the change is the redstone display, the redstone scale, and the redstone button panel. You can switch to the different displays with a screwdriver. This is a hexadecimal display, and you can see it in action. Then you've got the decimal display which shows you in, num in uh, you know, normal numbers the redstone signal. Then you've got the bit display which shows you this signal in binary code and you've also got the progress bar which fills up depending on what the redstone strength is. And that's the last mode. The scale has one new display mode and it looks like this. And the button panel also has a few different modes. Let's see the first one. It's a binary mode. You can activate individual bits to, um, in order to, uh, you know, generate a redstone signal. And it's a binary system. Now the next one, it's also binary, but it looks like this. And it's gonna turn green to show you that the button is pressed. And that's the changes to these machines. The wireless redstone covers also have received some love. Now if you put them down you'll notice that they look a little bit differently. There's uh, two plus buttons and two minus buttons and the uh, square in the middle. And they, the five things here have different functionalities. If you right click with a screwdriver in the middle it's gonna tell you the frequency the uh, block is actually at. So if I put the frequency, uh, if I link it with an aluminium plate and then I right click with a screwdriver in the middle, it's gonna show me that. Uh, if I right click on the plus button, again with a screwdriver, it's gonna increase the frequency by 32. Uh, here it decreases it by 32, and with these buttons on the bottom, it does the same, but using 1024. And that's the change to the wireless covers. The Magic Energy Converter has had some new fuels added into it from the Twilight Forest mod and the Ars Magica mod. You can use uh, Blue Orchids, Desert Novas, uh, Live Roots, Purified Vintium. You can just scroll through the recipes and see what's new. And they will generate energy. Um, now we've got a new cover. The redstone signalizer you craft it with a redstone torch and a refined iron plate and an assembling machine and it basically will input a redstone signal to the machine it's attached to and it's a constant redstone signal you can specify the strength by right click it right clicking the cover with a screwdriver up to 15 and then again from zero the compartment block has also had some changes. You can now switch the display with a screwdriver. You've got numbers, you've got uh, those things that look like tools, that, and a wrench. Uh, there's also a new cover, the redstone conductor, crafted with a piece of redstone and a refined iron plate in an assembling machine. And basically, it's gonna take the highest strength redstone signal applied to the machine and it's gonna output it. So I've put some uh, redstone signalizer covers and let's see, this one is outputting a signal of 1 to the machine. Let's make this one output 2. So now the um, conductor will apply a signal of 2 because it's the highest signal. And if I change this one to 3 it's gonna output 3. So it's gonna take the highest redstone signal and output it. There's also been some changes to the industrial electrolyzer, the um, industrial centrifuge and the implosion compressor. 
basically the industrial electrolyzer and the centrifuge will accept cells from any side and it will put them in the right slot now I just um, dropped six cells in six different sides and it put them all in this slot uh, same thing with the implosion compressor and the centrifuge, but the implosion compressor um, will put TNT in the right slot. Finally, let's take a look at the tesseracts. There's now a tesseract generator and a tesseract terminal. The generator is crafted with four titanium plates, three energy flow circuits, one Gregtech computer cube, and one ender chest. And similarly, the terminal is crafted the same way except for you use data control circuits instead of energy flow and you use an advanced machine block or one of the holes that are appearing here. So how do they work? Well, you place a generator somewhere and on the back side it's gonna have this um, it's gonna look like this and you can connect this to a tank or a, an inventory. So let's connect it to an inventory and see how that works. Now on the front face there are two buttons, the plus button and the minus button and you can use them to change frequency. Now if you click on the bottom side you can see what frequency the machine is at uh, currently. So let's set it to frequency 2. Now if I place a terminal somewhere else in the world and I give it the same frequency it's gonna say it's connected. So now I know that this terminal has a frequency that a generator has somewhere else in the world. And the generator is going to require some energy. In fact, for every terminal that is connected to the generator is going to require 8 EU per tick. And this setup basically makes it so which, uh, whatever inventory you have attached to the generator, this block is emulating it. So this block is basically that chest right now. And while you can't access it by right clicking, you can pipe items out of it. So let's see it in action you can see it's now connecting to the um, to the terminal however if I were to change the frequency to 1 and I try connecting the pipe it's not gonna connect anymore because it's no longer uh, a valid inventory now let's put that back and try to pipe some items out of it connected and now the pipe is valid. So if I put an engine here and I try to pipe items out of the terminal it's gonna take the engine out of the chest and it's taking it out of the terminal instead. So that's how it works with items. So let's see how it works with liquids. This is how it works with liquids. You wanna place your uh, generator and then you can place a tank just like you would place a chest and let's give it some liquid alright so we've got a tank that has uh, some helium and now uh, it has a frequency of minus one and now let's place a terminal and let's give it the same frequency and it says connected alright so let's try to pipe some liquid out of it and let's see if that works there you have it, now it's pumping the liquid out of this block which is um, acting like the tank so this block is the tank basically and you can uh, not only pump liquids out of it you can also pipe liquids into it so this pump, this tank is now empty because I pumped everything in here same amount and if I now pump um, liquid into the, the terminal is going to go into the tank it's connected to. And that's how Tesseracts work. Uh, that was the changelog, the latest changelog of Greg Tech. I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you next time.